What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Offroad Outlaws. In today's video, we're going to be building Whistling Diesel's new squatted truck that he actually bought, and he is going to eventually destroy this vehicle. Now, if many of you don't know, here is a picture of what this truck looks like. This is called the Alabama Chromosoma Bill. And you know, quite a few of us really don't like squatted trucks. So what we're going to go ahead and do today is we're actually going to build this cat eye squatted Chevy. And, you know, we're just going to go and destroy it ourselves since Whistling Diesel has yet to completely destroy this vehicle. We might as well destroy it first. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and build this truck. Seven hours later. All right, guys, now that I have this truck finished, let me know down below in the comments. What do you think about the way I built this? Did I do a good job at this truck or not? I'm going to go ahead and show you one more time a photo of what this truck actually looks like. And, you know, compare this up to mine. Did I do a good job or should I have done better with this build? Now I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what I did to this so you can go ahead and create this truck yourself. So it's going to go straight to customization. Now everything on the body is actually pretty much the exact same. Well, it's, it's all stock. The only thing I added to the body modifications would be, you know, these true duels sticking out the rear. And then the rims are the stock rims that come with this truck. And then the tires are the very middle tires. These cost nine grand. These are the super swampers inside the game. And then if you want to copy my exact paint scheme, it is gloss. And you look at the right side of the screen, that's exactly where my paint scheme is. So that way I can get that, you know, kind of pinkish maroon color that that Silverado does have. And then if we go to decals, as you can tell on the left side of my screen, I have all the different stickers to go ahead and do the Z71 off-road that is on the back of the truck. So there you go, you have, you know, the stickers right there on the back of it to go ahead and make it look realistic. Now we're inside the suspension tuning and we're going to go ahead and go to the travel. So the front for the travel is going to be 0.40 and the stiffness is going to be completely stock. Now if we go to the rear... Our stiffness is going to be 16570 along with our Traver dropped all the way down to 0.10. And our front suspension is actually an I-beam because if I go ahead and pop up this picture right here, he does have that support going from the middle to the front and he went ahead and actually, you know, removed the drive shaft and everything. So there's really no drive shaft going to the front of this vehicle. And if we go to the wheels and tires, the only thing I did was actually just max out the rim size. That is it. I did nothing else to these tires except for max the rim size. And that is all you have to do. Okay, guys. So now that you have seen how to build this truck, let's go ahead and take this thing out. Man, I swear that I'm a real when I ain't never lose it And now I'm so caught in spin, but they don't never do shit I'm in these streets, this shit is real, man, I ain't big and choosing I gotta get rich before I die, I'm focused on the music And I swear that I'm a real when I ain't never lose it And now I'm so caught in spin, but they don't never lose it Alright guys, let's go ahead and actually take this truck, you know just everywhere. We're actually going to go ahead and just, I don't know. We're going to try and destroy this truck completely. Now, this truck is two-wheel drive. So, I think the first place we're going to try and take this to. I honestly want to see if this truck inside two-wheel drive can make it up any of this stuff over here inside, like, the little park section that I have. I want to see if it can make it up this. Honestly, I think this is going to be extremely difficult for this truck to get up, especially Especially with it being two-wheel drive and the rear end being completely dropped. Wow. I was wrong. This might actually be the new wave. You might be able to rock crawl much better like this. I don't know. We might have to make this thing four-wheel drive. And go take this thing out one day. And you'll see how it actually crawls. And that's how you get stuck. This is why you don't do stuff in a two-wheel drive truck, let alone with the rear end completely dropped to the ground. All right now guys, I know a bunch of y'all want to see this truck get destroyed, so we're gonna go ahead and actually just full send it up this rock right here. Well, actually this isn't a rock. We're gonna full send it up these pipes. So here we go. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely not what was planned, but we did able to, you know, kind of destroy it a little bit. It looks like I can't actually flip the truck back over. It's just completely stuck. We're actually going to attempt that one more time. I really want to be able to jump up and over, you know, these pipes right here. Let's see if I can at least do it this time. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Let's get it. Let's get it in two-wheel drive. We were able to get that. 
I'm actually very surprised this truck was able to do that. We're just gonna go ahead and send it off of this too. Looks like we might actually be stuck in here. Yeah, this probably was not a good idea to get myself stuck inside of here. So we were actually able to get unstuck here. Now one thing with this truck, I actually want to see how fast it can go. You know, I want to see, is this like an average Joe truck or is this thing tuned? And is it going to be able to go much faster than a stock Silverado? So we're going to go ahead and try this and let's go ahead and take off now. Okay, so far we're about to do 30. Looks like it, damn, it took a long time to shift right there. And this truck is just constantly shooting flames the whole way. It's actually kind of cool. Oh, oh, are we going to crash the truck? And we crashed into the guardrail. Now this truck is decently quick for being, you know, I guess kind of a stock Silverado. I'm gonna go ahead and send it down this bumpy highway here, see if we can actually, you know, just make this truck flip or something. Look at suspension just doing its work there. Okay guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and take this truck all the way back to, you know, the back main area where my logging road and my dock station everything is at. And we're just gonna send this truck off of everything, jump everything we can find. We're just gonna, you know, slam it against a bunch of rocks and stuff and just try and completely destroy this vehicle just all the way. As you can tell right there in the bottom right of the screen, well actually the middle bottom right of the screen, there is actually my health bar. And as it goes all the way down, you know, we're going to be able to completely just destroy this vehicle. So I want that health bar to go completely just all the way down. We're going to send it to these rocks right here. Now, I don't want to get this thing stuck so I can at least, you know, continue messing with this truck and stuff, you know. So let's go ahead and send it over here. There's this back wall area that I actually want to try and send this truck up. And, you know, see if we can get it up a few of the rocks. If not, that's fine, because we're really just trying to destroy this truck. And the only way to really get up in here on these rocks... Oh, can, we can't even go up the hill. That's just not doable for us. We can't even climb a, a normal hill with nothing on it. Alright guys, so here's the big rock section that I was talking about. This giant rock roll that I want to kind of just send this truck up if it's possible. I mean, there's really not enough speed for me to just send this truck and hit the wall because it's just sitting here spinning. And I bet you if this truck was four-wheel drive, it probably would make it up this now since we're not going to be able to actually send it up that and destroy it. You might as well send it down the rocks and destroy it doing it this way. I'm just going to full send over everything down here. Over all of these rocks. Look at that. The truck is almost completely destroyed, which is good. I think these last few hits right here is just going to completely destroy this truck. It's almost done for. This thing is almost done for. Can we destroy it right here? Is this truck going to get destroyed before it gets stuck? I think so. I think that might be a thing. Look at that guys, we have completely destroyed this truck. There's nothing left of it. And looks like I'm actually kind of stuck too. So guys, let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about this truck? And what do you think about me completely destroying Whistle and Diesel's, you know, truck that he had just bought, the Alabama Chromosome Mobile. Besides that guys, please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications.